Hello, beautiful one. Can you solve this challenge? We are told what two different numbers can we add? It will give us one. And when we multiply the same numbers, it still gives you one. You'll be like, what are those numbers? Don't worry, I'm going to take you through it step by step. Let's do this together. So we're going to begin with solution. So let's repeat what we have. We have x plus y is equal to 1 and xy is equal to 1. Now, when you have this kind of equations, this is what we call system of equations because you see we have two variables, x and y, to look out for and then we have two equations. So let me teach you how to solve that. So we can name this equation 1. We can also name this equation 2. You can also choose to make either x or y subject from either of the equations. I'm going to make y subject from equation 1. So we're going to have make y subject from equation 1. So if you do that, we're going to have. So this gives us, so y is equal to, we subtract it, it will be 1 minus x. So this value of y, we are going to substitute it in equation 2. So we are going to put y into equation 2. So if you do that, you are going to have x. Instead of writing y, you replace with this. So you are going to have 1 minus x and is equal to 1. Interesting. So what do you do? Distribute this x into the brackets. So if you do that, x times 1 will give us x. And x times negative x gives us negative x squared. And everything is equal to 1. So what do we do? We are going to take this to avoid working with negatives. We are going to move this to the right side. Remember, this is positive. This is negative. So take this to the right side and also take this to the right side. So we are going to have 1. This will give us positive x squared. And this will give us negative x. Everything is equal to 0. Now we are going to rearrange this so that the one with the highest power of x begins. So we have x squared minus x remember this x this one is positive plus one is equal to zero this is your quadratic equation because the highest power of x is two now solving this we are going to use the formula and for you to have watched through this point it shows what you are doing interesting don't forget to hit that subscription button give this a like share with your friends and i also be curious to see your own method in the comments thank you and let's keep doing this to have using the formula x is going to give us negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a our a is the coefficient of x squared remember is one b is the coefficient of x this is negative one okay and our c is the constant which is one plug this into this formula we have x is equal to negative our b is negative one plus or minus square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 multiplies our a is 1 multiplied by 1 and everything is divided by 2 times 1. Keep solving we have x is equal to multiply this you have positive 1 plus or minus this will give us square root of 1 if you multiply this you have negative 4 and is divided by this will give us 2. So we're going to have x is equal to 1 plus or minus. Subtract this, you have root of negative 3 divided by 2. You observe that the value here has negative inside the square root. It means we are getting to a complex solution. So to remove this negative, x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of negative 1 multiplied by 3 divided by 2. Now, you know too well that for every root a, b, it is root of a multiplied by root of b. So if you apply it here, x is giving us 1 plus or minus root of negative 1 multiplied by root of 3. And everything is divided by 2. Now, remember, for every root of negative 1, it's always equal to the imaginary unit i. So we're going to replace this here. And this will give us x is equal to 1 plus or minus. This is i 
multiply root 3 and is divided by 2. So this gives us x is equal to 1 plus or minus i root 3 divided by 2. Now this is the first and second value of x. But remember we are to get both the values of y. And to get the values of y, we use these values of x to get their corresponding y values. To do that, recall that we stated earlier that our y is equal to 1 minus x. This is going to be a guide. So we are going to use this to substitute in this equation to have. So when x is equal to 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2, we are going to have y, this is the first value of x, so the corresponding y will be 1 minus, let's put this value. So we have 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2. Please, let's put it in brackets, it's an expression, okay? So if you simplify, y will give us 1 minus, this is the same as multiplying with negative 1 to open up the bracket. So we have negative 1 into this is half plus i root 3 divided by 2. So it gives us y is 1. Use this to distribute. So we're going to have negative. This multiplies, we have negative half. This multiplies, we have negative i root 3 divided by 2. So if you simplify, we have this minus this will give us half minus i root 3 divided by 2. Now, gather this we have. The first value of x and its corresponding y will be when x is 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2, our y is, you know that this is the same as 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2. So our y will be 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2. Now let's get the second value of y. So we now have when the second value of x is 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2, we are going to have second value of y will be 1 minus, let's plug this value of x. So we have 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2. So this is what we have. And that will give us, second value of y will be 1. This is the same as half minus i root 3 divided by 2. So we're going to distribute with negative 1. So to expand, so we're going to have, the second value of y will be 1. Multiply with this, you have negative half. Use this to multiply. We have positive i root 3 divided by 2. So if you simplify, we have this minus this will give us half plus i root 3 divided by 2. And this is the same as 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2. So it means that the second value of x and its corresponding y will be 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2 and 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2. So this is what we have. And what did you observe? Look at our first set. I hope you observed something that the value of x, the first value of x is our second value of y. And the first value of y is our second value of x. So it means the two sets are the same. Now we're going to do a check with one of them since they're the same to see if we plug them at the left side, will they give us back one? And that is the interesting part I wouldn't want you to miss. Let's do this verification together to have. To verify, we are going to make use of this set, the first set, where we have 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2 and 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2. So let's use this set to do the verification. 
So we're going to have for x plus y, it will give us 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2 plus 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2. Now add it up. We have, you see that the denominators are the same, so you can easily add the numerators. So this gives us 1 plus i root 3 plus 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2. So this is going to give us, add the terms together. This will give us 1 plus 1 plus i root 3 minus i root 3 divided by 2. So we're going to have 2. This is gone. So we have 2 divided by 2. And when you divide 2 by 2, it gives you 1. That is for the addition. Now we're also going to check for multiplication. And that will give us 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2 is to multiply 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2. Now, remember we said that this is the same as half plus i root 3 divided by 2. And this is the same as half minus i root 3 divided by 2. This reminds you of a squared minus b squared, which is a plus b into a minus b. You observe that these two are the same. The difference is the sign just like what you have. So we want to put this into this form. So if we do that, we are going to have, so this is our guide. So if you do that, we have x, y is equal to, this is our a, here is b. So we have half, you square it, minus i root 3 divided by 2 is squared. This is equal to this. So opening the brackets of x, y is equal to, if you have a divided by b to the power of m, it is a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m. So for this, we are going to have 1 squared divided by 2 squared minus, this will give us i root 3 squared divided by 2 squared. So we're going to have 1 squared is 1, this is 4 minus to square this means for every a b to the power of m it is a raised to power m b raised to power m these two are having the same powers did you see so for this we are going to have i squared then root 3 will be squared and everything is this will give us 4 so keep solving we are going to have this gives us one quarter minus, remember we said earlier that i is root of negative one. So this is the same as root of negative one squared, then multiplied by root of three squared divided by four. So if you keep solving, we are going to have one quarter minus, this we take off this, so we have negative one, this will take off this we have multiplied by 3 divided by 4. So this gives us 1 quarter. Now multiply this, it gives you negative 3. Multiply it gives you positive 3 divided by 4. So add this, it gives us 4 divided by 4. And that will give us 1. And that is what we have for multiplying. And that is at the right side. So it means that. The first set, which we have as 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2 and 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2 is correct. And the second set we have as 1 minus i root 3 divided by 2 and 1 plus i root 3 divided by 2 is also correct. And these are the solutions for this system of uh, equations. These solutions are complex because they contain both the real and the imaginary parts. And I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like this video, share. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. Thank you for always engaging. And I'll also be curious to see your own method in the comments. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.